going live. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Val. I am right now in the North Brunswick Library. I'm way off in a corner of the children's section. So I've got my mask right here, but it's off at the moment because I am all by myself. Welcome to Sleepy Tales. This is my first time doing this program with you guys, but I'm really excited for it. So this is going to be a bedtime story program. I know it might not be everybody's bedtime right now, but you can come back and watch this whenever you like. It'll stay here on our Facebook page, even after I'm done doing this video live with you guys right now. For some of our littler friends, you might be getting ready for bed right now. So if you're in your pajamas, that's great. If you're an older brother or sister, and you're not in pajamas, it's not bedtime yet, I'd still like you to go and grab something comfy. I have a hoodie right here, so I'm gonna put a hoodie on. While I do that, I would like it if you would too. Maybe if you don't have a hoodie, you could put on some nice fuzzy socks. You could put on a cozy hat. Ooh. You could grab a blanket and sit underneath it or wrap it around you or a bathrobe, something comfy mm, so that we can get nice and ready for the stories that we're going to do. So yeah, like I said, today I have a hoodie. It's very soft. So I want you guys to put something soft on too, get nice and cozy or maybe grab a stuffed animal friend and bring them along, have them join our story time. All right, so for Sleepy Tales, this isn't gonna be like my normal story times with you guys. We're not gonna get up and dance. We wanna try and calm down and get ready for bed, right? So I'm going to start off with a song. I'm gonna sing today two lullabies that I bet you guys already know, but I'm going to have hand motions with them. So I'll sing both of them, I'll do it twice. I'll show you the motions, and then the second time, you can do them along with me, okay? But you'll know both of these songs. And then, in between them, I also have two books that I'm going to read with you, okay? I'm really excited. All right, so we are gonna start off with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Are you ready? So, we're gonna do hand motions like this. It's gonna go twinkle, twinkle, little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are it's easy right and you already know the song let's do it again okay together this time all right Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. For grown-ups that have a little baby, when we do the lullabies, you could do a little bouncing on your knees. You can rock them in your arms. They can still join in. All right, so we sang a song. We've got on something cozy, right? Yeah, okay. We are gonna start with our first book of the night. This is called, What Color Is Night? So what color do you think nighttime is? This book is going to start off with what is probably your answer. What color is night? Is it only black and white? Like the moon, huh? Since it's winter time, it gets dark out much earlier than the rest of the year. Is the moon out yet where you are? Look closer. And here's a little girl in a window, just like you, right? 
at home in your house, nice and comfortable. The night is blue with black shapes and lines. Is this what the sky looks like outside your window? For some people it does, right? And a big yellow moon beginning to rise. The park aglow with gold fireflies. Do you live near a park? I said earlier, it's winter, so there won't be any fireflies. But in the summertime, you can see so many of them, can't you? The silver streak of a train rolling by. Do you live near a train? Can you hear one at night? Sometimes I can hear a train way far away through my bedroom window. Fat brown moths dancing in yellow street lights. I have a street light right near my bedroom window too. The city lit up with neon red signs. Is this what it looks like outside your window? This is what it looks like for some people. You can see the whole neighborhood when you're in a city. So everything is so close together, right? Yellow headlights on a dark country road. Have you ever been in the car when it's really late at night? There are the headlights and there's the city way in the distance. A nighttime visit, a green eyed glow. Can you see what animal this is? It's a raccoon. And what's it called? Animals that wake up in the nighttime and they do all of their eating and all of their playing, all of it at nighttime while we're sleeping. Do you know what that's called? That's called nocturnal. A still blue pond, the white moon twice. Here, you can see it two times because it's reflected in the water. And so is the duck, huh? A thousand silver stars spilled across the sky. Can you see stars outside? One last orange window, houses of black. The gray face of a clock, a midnight snack. Oh, a snack sounds great, doesn't it? And there, in a sky of indigo, all the night's colors in one moon bow. There's a streak of color all the way around the moon, right? It looks like a rainbow, huh? A clear window, a silver moonbeam, got a stuffed toy with her. Hope you do too. Pink and purple clouds. A night of good dreams. And colors unseen. That's the end. I hope you guys have good dreams tonight. Whether you're going to sleep right now after this video ends or a little bit later or if you watch this in the future. I hope you have a good sleep. So we're gonna do another lullaby together. This one is going to be Rockabye Baby. Like I'd said before, if there's a little baby with you guys, you could bounce them on your knees. You could bounce them up and down. Yeah, something nice and calming and slow. Nothing to get them going, just something sweet and fun and Something that'll make people excited to go to bed. Even the littlest of people, right? Even a little baby. So, I'm gonna do it again two times. And you can join in. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see me. Move it back a bit. All right, so the hand motions will go. rock a -bye, baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come baby cradle and all. You can do that, right? That's a super easy one, isn't it? We can do that together. You ready? 
rock a bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? I love singing with you guys. It's a lot of fun. I have one last story for you. This one is called Just Because. It is about a little girl who's getting ready for bed, just like you guys are. So, oh, I'll slide off to the side again so you can see the whole thing. All right, Just Because. So here's our little girl and her dog. And here in the doorway is her dad. And he's putting her to bed. And she says, why is the ocean blue? And Dad says, every night when you go to sleep, the fish take out guitars. They sing sad songs and cry blue tears. Can you see? What is the rain? the tears of flying fish after they sing the sad songs, right? And then they leave the ocean and they fly over the... Why do the leaves change color? The leaves just changed color, didn't they? Not too long ago. Dad says in autumn, when the world gets colder, the trees keep warm by setting quiet little fires in their leaves. By winter, their branches have all burned up. Look at all the birds with their hats on. They must be nice and cozy just like we are. Why do birds fly south for the winter? Hmm. Have you seen any birds flying south recently? Dad answers, to fetch new leaves for the trees. The leaves that just burned away, right? What happened to the dinosaurs? Hmm. Millions of years ago, thousands of asteroids fell on the earth, but the dinosaurs had planned for this. They fastened themselves to big balloons floated up to space and stayed there. There's all the dinosaurs. Hmm. Do we think that's what really happened? I hope so. And the little girl asks, what are black holes? The mouths of the dinosaurs. Oh, look at the T-Rex eating everything up in space. Ooh, that would be really scary, wouldn't it? Oh, look at all these questions the little girl has. They don't even all fit on the page. What is a volcano? What is the wind? How do you tame a horse? How big was a woolly mammoth? How were the pyramids built? What are freckles? What is an echo? How tall is the tallest mountain? Why do people sneeze? What is the moon? What is a rainbow? How does an egg become a chicken? That's so many questions. I don't know the answer to all these. Do you think Dad will? Dad says, it is time to go to sleep. For the little girl and for you guys soon too, huh? Why do we have to sleep? Because there are some things we can only see with our eyes closed. Look at all the things she's going to dream about. All of the stories that her dad told her, right? Ooh, I liked that one. I hope you guys did too. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, now that we sang some lullabies and we read some bedtime stories, I'm going to get nice and cozy in my jacket warm myself up. I'm going to cross my legs. I'm sitting here on a chair, but if you're at home, 
or on the couch or on your bed, you can do the same thing. A crisscross applesauce. We're going to do just a little bit of yoga to get us nice and calm and ready to go to sleep, right? Doing yoga before going to sleep is one of my favorite things. It makes me feel so nice. So, first thing we're going to do, like I said, our legs are crossed. We're going to start real slow and just lift our head up and down really slow. like we're drawing a line with the tip of our nose. Can you feel your back and your neck stretching? And then we want to make a big circle again with the tip of our nose. So we'll roll our head all the way around. Roll, roll, roll. We'll go a few times. Roll it all the way around. And then we can start going the other direction. And we can switch again. The important part is that you feel your neck and your shoulders stretching and that you go nice and slow. We're not in a hurry. Mm. Does that feel good? And then we can lift our shoulders up and down, just our shoulders up and down, up to our ears down low, 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 and up and down. We can slowly reach our arms up, 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 up. Can you feel your shoulders and your back stretching? And we slowly bring them down. Ah, oh, then we'll do one at a time, how's that? So we bring one arm up like this, and we lean to the side a little bit. Now you should feel your back stretching. Hmm. Ugh. Now I'm starting to feel ready for bed, you guys. You're gonna make me too tired. Okay. Our other arm. We lift it up to the sky. Then we lean down. If you need to put your other arm flat on wherever it is you're sitting, whether it's a chair like I'm in or if you're on the floor, that's okay. None of this has to be perfect. We just have to feel nice and comfortable. All right, so our necks stretched out, our backs are stretched out. It's the very last thing we're gonna do before I say goodnight to you and you guys can go to sleep and I can go back to work for a little while, but then I can go to sleep too. The last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna stay crisscross applesauce. We're gonna keep our backs nice and straight, our heads nice and straight, and we're gonna take deep breaths. How's that sound? All right, we're gonna breathe in through our noses and then out through our mouths. Sound good? Yeah, okay. We wanna go slowly again too. Nice and slow and relaxing, okay? So, in through our noses. Out through our mouths. And then again, in through our noses. And out through our mouths. Let's try and hold our breath for a few seconds this time. How's that sound? In through our noses. And then hold it, hold it. Is that good? Let's do it again. Okay.
Let's see just how long we can take a breath. How's that sound? We want to go really, really slow, all right? Okay, let's go slowly. Could you do it slow? Yeah, I hope so. All right. So how are you guys feeling? Do you feel comfortable and cozy with your pajamas and fuzzy socks and a blanket and a stuffed animal friend? Okay. Are you feeling ready to go and brush your teeth and get under your covers? Yeah? I hope so. And if you ever have trouble sleeping in the future, you can come back and watch this video to get ready for bed. And in two weeks, I'll be back again doing another live video for a bedtime story with you guys. So we'll have some new books, maybe we'll have some new songs, and I really look forward to seeing you then. I also want to let all of the kids and all of the grown-ups watching this, I want you guys to know that we have a special activity with the Robert Wood Johnson uh, Safe Kids Middlesex program. This Saturday, on the 21st, they are going to be joining us at 11 a.m. on Zoom for a special kitchen safety presentation, which is just in time for Thanksgiving which is, it's a great, great program for if you've got kids who are gonna be around the kitchen and around all of the food going on with your family in the upcoming holidays, Thanksgiving and all the winter holidays that are coming up after it. So it's gonna be some great resources on what kids should know to and not to do when they're in the kitchen. So that's this Saturday, 11 a.m. If you want to sign up, the sign up link is here on our Facebook page and we would really love it if you would like the Facebook page because next time I go live like this and do a bedtime story you guys will see it right when it happens does that sound good all right I had such a great time with you guys tonight I feel nice and relaxed and cozy and I hope you do too but I'm looking forward to seeing you next time as well okay all right good night you guys good night